no one really look normal. It's like you've been given a body, do something with it, right? Some people might have a tattoo, some people might have some piercing or something. What if I can do this and that? That's what I'm in the gym for. I want to change my stuff. I want to show what I can do. Where's the limit? How I can jump forward, like beyond the limit? How can I be better? Looking normal for me is boring. That's how I think it's look boring, like you've been given body and you're doing nothing with it. I'm Toby Rozhitsky and I'm working for the Spectrum Leisure Center as an apprentice. It all started four and a half years ago. Obviously, it just randomly happened when I was boxing. I wanted to do something different. Like, I had the goal to put some weight on because I was a very skinny lad. And there's a gym, a local gym, nearly where I live. And that's where it's all happened. I just walked in, asked for membership, had no clue about the gym because I never been, I never trained before. And that's where it all began. If your dream is to be a singer, and you think people will laugh at you, people will put you down, make sure, if I repeat myself again, make sure you're laughing last. Because the heart you're gonna give to your dream, the heart you're gonna give to your work, the heart you're gonna give to your training, the more you're gonna get back from it. I was actually looking at myself, how I look. That was the biggest motivation. I didn't really enjoy the way how I look, the way how I skinny, how skinny I was. So I wanted to change myself. That was like the motiv first motivation that hit me. It was just my own look. That was the motivation. Someone with muscle dysmorphia would be somebody who is obsessed with going to the gym, potentially taking dangerous steroids um, and other dietary supplements, maybe obsessed with restricting their diet, the foods that they eat, and kind of extreme clean eating. Individuals are obsessively and compulsively fixated with particular aspects of their body that they perceive as being flawed. And as I say, this is obsessive and compulsively thinking about your body as being flawed. They become fixated on the flawed area. I'm trying to get a nice light. So I think what's really interesting about things like Instagram is there is the opportunity to really heavily edit your images that you're posting there. So people will um, be adding filters, they'll be engaging in various lighting techniques, almost similar to the way the mass media traditionally has manipulated images. But what you've got here is you've got what seems to be everyday people manipulating their images and having these ideal uh, appearances, these ideal bodies. And the message that is um, like perpetuated with this is that you too can have this, that this is something that is achievable. The everyday person can have these bodies, even though they're heavily edited. Most people put one scope, some people put two scope. I want to triple my performance, you know. It makes me go in, make me pump those little muscles. The taste is horrible. It's like a medicine. It's not supposed to taste nice, but it's supposed to heal you. So to say that these Instagram images are a direct cause of body dysmorphia, um, and particularly muscle dysmorphia, is a little bit problematic. But I think it would be very naive to say that, that they don't make a massive contribution to this issue. I can't really say it's negative, because some people actually pose very beautiful achievable transformation which take them years listen here years not a month not 30 not like 20 days not four weeks not not three months it take them years right you can't reach nice body in one in 30 days there's no chance physically no chance I would say we are definitely obsessed with appearance Looking normal, looking like everybody's like, nah, you don't really look like that. You actually want to look unique. 
That's what you want to look unique. You want to, you want to look perfect. You want to show what you can do with your body, how the physics can go. Because now with all the genetics, now these days, feel, you, you can do amazing things with the body. If back in the days you couldn't do it, there was no supplements like that, there was no genes were not that extended as before. That just amazed what you can do with the body.